Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're with Cobra today at Cobra headquarters in Carlsbad, California, talking with Tom Olsofsky about brand new Cobra F9 golf equipment. Tom, good to see you as always. Yeah, Chris, great fun to talk with you. Absolutely. We're going to talk specifically right now about hybrids and fairway woods. These have been a revelation for you the last couple of product cycles because people just continue to love the Baffler Rail technology. Yeah, one of the things that's exciting about the Baffler technology, Chris, is we know that golfers struggle to hit these clubs off the ground, and that's where the biggest challenge is. You know, you need those clubs to hit a shot long and straight off the ground from fairways. Uh, and so one of the things we've learned in our research is that most golfers, typically, you, ha you have to have a somewhat circular motion to hit a golf ball because mm -hmm. it's a swing motion, and you have to have a little bit downward attack to have the best shot. So when you have that downward attack, a lot of it was working with Ricky and, and his coach, Butch Harmon, um, you know, they were working with trying to get Ricky to be more aggressive on those fairway shots. And they kind of said, well, why don't we put some rails on there? Because what the rails do is they allow you to be aggressive and not get as much turf because they're keeping you out of the ground. They're limiting that contact area. So it's a great technology. We've had it for a number of years. Obviously, our founder, Tom Crow, uh, did a great job initially with these many, many years ago. Uh, but one of the things we keep doing is looking at the physics of what we do and trying to improve it. And one of the things we found is typically when you have a swing uh, of these clubs, you're impacting a little bit negative angle attack into the ground which to hit a good shot. It's usually around three degrees. But what we found is typically what you do is in many cases, you're only using about the front third of the sole to do that. So that was an interesting revelation because we said, well, if we're only using the front third, we can actually take this weight, which normally the weight is on the surface of the sole, not the rails, and lower it a little bit. So we've actually done that where you can see here just a little profile where it actually is raised from the, what the sole surface is. Yeah. So we fared that in there nicely so that there's no gra drag or any catching of things like that. But effectively it lowers the CG. And what you're trying to do with every golf club that you hit off the ground is lower CG is better. I think uh, now that the industry has understood uh, performance through launch monitors, um, you know, there was a lot of old theories in the old days, oh, you want high CG or low CG. Every shot, really, you want low CG because you're trying to hit the ball off the ground up in the air. Right. Um, you know, so that's the benefit is if you can lower the CG, you're going to get better performance. So with the design of the Speedback technology in the back, you're going to get a lower CG in both the fairways and the hybrids, and that gives you better performance. Pretty simple with that. The addition for this year is that we're actually going to CNC mill the fairway. And so the difference is, uh, you know, fairways are made of steel, and the challenge is we use a 475 very high strength steel in here and a 455 body. So yeah. machining is more challenging with steel than titanium. Most people think titanium is the ultimate, but steels are usually harder and stronger than titanium. It's just titanium is much lighter. Gotcha. That's why I use titanium for drivers and steel for everything else. But when you machine steel, you go through cutters a lot faster. Uh, it, the rate that you can machine is slower than titanium because it's just a much harder material, especially when using the high strength alloy. So it took us a little bit longer to figure out how to get the fairway woods CNC milled and make them perform than it did with the driver. Gotcha. But uh, we're bringing that technology and because we're again able to fine tune the thicknesses, you're able to get a little bit more speed, you're able to get a little bit more consistent product. Um, so all in all, it's a great package from performance wise. Yeah, and in a fairway wood, players are looking for that consistency. Better players want to know exactly how far that club's going to go. Yes, exactly. Well, every player wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> the better players have more of a chance of being correct. And they need to know. Exactly. Uh, and of course, uh, we've got two different versions as well. We've got a uh, pro model, a little bit smaller profile, going to mm -hmm. promote some workability and a little bit weight forward to take some of that spin down. Exactly. So we make this one for almost all the golfers that we, we sell to. But players like Ricky really like that old traditional small size and front weighted. So he plays that one and a, a lot of our, uh, you know, Bryson actually, uh, Bryson and Alexi are still playing LTD. We're working on them with King F9 Speedbacks to get them in play. Um, but they like the little bit bigger size. And we've seen the fairway market go back to this, I would, I would call this a midsize. Mm -hmm. It's not the biggest sizes that we've made in the industry, but it's midsize performance, nice low CG with rail technology and speed back for better weighting. It's really a, a great fairway. And getting back to that idea of wanting to know like exactly what these are going to do in terms of distance, mm -hmm. ball flight, curvature, the ModFly 8 loft pad really gives players and fitters a lot of options to really dial these in. Yeah, we know that those clubs are critical in your bag as to how you hit them, where you hit them, and the gappings. 
you know, that's the one thing that we see uh, consistently with players is they're always worried about how do we, how do we maximize the performance between the driver and the longest iron. Because usually your iron sets, the gaps are pretty good. Mm -hmm. But once you start getting into the metals, uh, it's a little bit more challenging to fit all those gaps properly for every golfer. So we have a number of loft options and, and head styles. Uh, and same comes with the hybrids too. When you think about hybrids, that's the same thing. You know, hybrids are all about playability, consistency, accuracy, um, but they're also about gapping. Yeah. You know, so that's one of the key things that we talk about with, with both fairways and hybrids. And with the hybrid, it, it's got a, a more traditional construction in terms of the face with a 455 steel, but mm -hmm. again, super light, super strong going to create a lot of ball speed. Right. The idea here, and again, we've incorporated speedback weighting, so the CGs are lower. We've actually changed the face shape a little bit and the head shape. Uh, some of our research was from our past product, the King Oversize Hybrid, which a lot of players here at Cobra are still playing. That was a little bit <laughs> bigger performance hybrid. It had a little square leading edge, so it lined up better. And we found a lot of players had gravitated to that over the last couple of years. So we made that change with the King F9 is to kind of square up that leading edge, change the profile a little bit, make it a little bit more oversized. Uh, to get more forgiveness, more performance, um, and a little bit faster face. Yeah, I think you went up, what, about 10% in terms of the size? Exactly, yeah. And of course, uh, I was introduced with F8, back with uh, F9. We've got a one-size hybrid, or one-length hybrid, right. excuse me, mm -hmm. to really help the one-length iron player, which is a really growing population, be able to sort of, you know, have that long iron or bit iron replacement option. Well, one of the things we found with one length, and this was no different than with Bryson and a number of players, is as you get loft stronger in irons, it's harder to get them up in the air. And when with one length, there's a slight penalty you pay for that even more. So one of the things we kept learning and, and studying was how can we make a hybrid perform at a one length? And our challenge was initially um, with the F7, we weren't able to get it ready in time after doing testing. Uh, we couldn't change the tooling enough to get lying holes proper, weighting proper. So uh, with F8, we launched that. It was a great success. And so um, it, it works great because when you think about it, a comparable long iron and, and the King F9 irons are pretty traditional, um, you know, which one is going to have a further back CG? Just look at the shape. It's pretty right. simple, right? Which one's going to have a lower CG, right? Pretty simple. So we know hybrids work better than irons because they're further back CGs and lower. That's pretty simple. So incorporating one link into that made a lot of sense. And we found that players are saying, I, I love that playability. I love hybrids already. Now you're giving me one with the consistency of one length and the ability to get the ball up in the air and, and more forgiveness. So all those things work great. Uh, we also put it off with a dash of blue because that's sort of the one length color we've adopted with, mm -hmm. with going to market with Bryson. So it's been off to a great success and we expect it to continue even with this slightly better shape uh, from last year. Yeah, so if you're a second swing customer having trouble getting your fairway woods, hybrids elevated off the turf, which is a common problem for a lot of golfers. F9 Speedback could be a great option for you in 2019. We'll take your old clubs in on trade, get you into the F9 Speedback, hybrid, fairway wood, whatever you need. Tom, good to see you, we appreciate it. Thanks, Chris.